And we also learned today the cost of the so-called fake lake for the International Media Center is much less than advertised yesterday. But we also learned it's only one of several backdrops created for reporters who will be kept far away from the meetings. Here's Jacques Barbeau. At the moment, it's just a design sketch. But the fake lake to be built at the G8, G20 Media Center in Toronto sparked wave after wave of opposition attacks. We spent a billion dollars and all we got was this lousy fake lake. Will the Prime Minister take the flippers off the Muskoka maniac, pull them out of the fake lake and send them packing to the back? <laughs> Yesterday they said there's a $2 million lake when in fact, Mr. Speaker, what there is is a $2 million lake marketing pavilion, Mr. Speaker. The fake lake is part of a 20,000 square foot pavilion called Experience Canada Alley. Since most journalists aren't being allowed to actually go to Muskoka, a three-hour drive away, they'll get a virtual tour. And today the government insisted the cost of the fake lake is not $1.9 million as originally reported. Building costs for the water feature are $57,000. <laughs> If it is 57000 that's more than the annual income of 40% of Canadian families. Yeah! To calm public outrage, the Conservatives gave out the detailed cost to build this media pavilion. The Muskoka section that includes the fake lake will cost $338,000. The cityscape sector comes in at $422,000 and the corridor linking the two, $348,000. As well, the design fees, $407,000. Government's defending wasting a whole bunch of taxpayer money suggesting that a fake lake is necessary. I thought real lakes were actually the way to go to promote Canada. And the new numbers didn't calm the opposition. So what are the journalists going to say? Well, we, we visited Canada. Uh, we put a canoe in a fake lake and, 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 and uh, paddled our way towards a TV screen. Come on. A cabinet minister has suggested the media will love the fake lake, giving us a nice backdrop when we're talking to the camera. And I'm the first to admit, we do like nice backgrounds. Kevin, it's an issue. For example, here I am in Cancun at a Three Amigos summit with the Gulf of Mexico behind me. And here I am in Guadalajara, standing in front of an historic building. The only difference, those backdrops weren't built for the media. They're real. And they didn't cost taxpayers a penny. Kevin? <laughs> All right, Jacques, thanks very much. Well, as you can imagine, lots of online.